Hi there, everyone. It's Misty here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So as you can tell by the title, I am starting another project pan. So right now, the only one I'm doing is the roulette pan collab, but I've watched Alejandro Lisette do this one and Jessica Lee do this one, and I thought I would go ahead and jump on that little bandwagon, and I'm sure there's tons of other people who are doing it too. I just, I just haven't looked. <laughs> So I thought I would do something short and kind of simple, a way to move some product out and kind of get myself ready for 2021. Speaking of 2021, I have my own project pan that I created that's called hashtag that's expensive project pan. I will try to remember to link the video up here in the eye in the sky, but basically you, it's starting to, um, December 28th, 2020, and we're going through December 28th, 2021. It's eight to 10 items that are your most expensive or like prestigious brand or high end like Fenty, Natasha Denona, um, Lori Mercier, all those um, types of brands. Or if you aren't someone who spends that much on makeup, it can just be whatever's the most expensive in your hoard, stash, collection, inventory, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. So we are starting, like I said, December 28, 2020. It can be rolling or not. You can set your own goals. Um, I don't know that mine will be rolling because my goal is probably to finish everything that I'm putting in. And this will be the first year that I really project, like I tried at the beginning of the year and I just, just didn't do it. But I have a renewed sense of energy and I'm ready to tackle some of my inventory. So you have that to look forward to. Like I said, that's starting December 28th. I would love for you to join me. Um, you can do it on Instagram. You can do it here on YouTube. It's completely up to you. But yeah, so let's get started. I have a good mix of makeup products and kind of skincare products. So let's start with the non-makeup items. The first thing is this Organza Cologne by Givenchy. So this perfume smells amazing. <laughs> like it's, and it's real, like this is not, like the real bottle is just a little bit bigger than this, I think, but you literally need one spray and you will smell it for two days, I swear. It smells so good. It's got a little bit of vanilla, it's got a little bit of musk. It says gardenia, which I don't understand because I hate gardenia, but if you go someplace, Macy's, do they still have Dillard's? Dillard's, Sephora, wherever you can find like Givenchy perfume and you can find it, smell it and you will probably fall in love with it. Now this is the cologne, this is a little bit cheaper so it doesn't smell as good, but it still smells really good. You can see I put this in at the beginning of the year. This is a fall scent. I do not try to wear this in the summer, spring or summer because I just feel like it feels out of place. But anyway, my goal is to finish this by the end of December. So this ends on New Year's Eve and you can see where we're starting from. The next thing is something I also put in my original project pan and that's this Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil. Um, you can see I started way up here and now I'm way down here. This is my first step in my makeup removal. So I do um, normally actually start with some makeup remover on my eyes to take off like the glue, the, like the lash glue if I'm wearing lashes. Um, waterproof mascara because that's the only type of mascara I wear and then I go in with a oil cleanser and then I go in with another cleanser so this is not my favorite um ever um the the consistency is not bad but it stinks it smells so bad I even tried putting in some orange essential oil in it and that didn't help so I will be glad when this is done I do have another one in my collection but we're going to take a break for this one for a little bit. And then the last kind of skincare product is this Garnier Micellar Water. Um, I'm not good at using this. What is, why is it separated? That's weird. Anyway, you can see where I am. I started using this like first thing in the morning because I just, I mean, if I wash my face and I do my skincare before I go to bed, I don't really feel like I need to get up the next morning and do this whole wash and cleanse routine. So I'll just use some of this on one of my reusable cotton rounds. They're actually bamboo rounds and they are so good from Amazon. And I'll go over my face with this. Um, I don't find that it's really good at taking off water, waterproof makeup. That's why I don't use it in that manner. But as a like as my cleansing step in the morning, I I think it works pretty okay. And I want to get this out of my collection again, just because I don't use it very much. And I've also picked up one from 
simple. I think that's the one Hiram always talked about, and I found it on Amazon. So I went ahead and picked that one up. So I'm ready to get this one out of my collection. And Garnier is not cruelty free. And even though I'm not in the place where I'm ready to go cruelty free, the more un, the mon, blah, 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 the more non cruelty free items I can get out of my collection, the better. Brain. Oh my gosh. And then last but not least, I have this Amazing Grace um, lotion from Philosophy. I love the smell of this. Okay, let me back up. I love the smell of Amazing Grace. It's top note is bergamot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Told you guys in the past, my favorite like note is bergamot. I love it. So I'm obsessed with this. Unfortunately, this, um, this lotion doesn't smell like much anymore. I've had this over a year and it's just about halfway hopefully you guys can see that I will let me just go ahead and mark it while I've got it held up um my goal is to finish this off I've been this is one of those things and this is the whole reason why I started that that's expensive project band this is one of those items that I'm like oh I don't I don't want to use it up because it smells so good and it's kind of expensive but at the same time it's losing its scent and I'm not going to be able to enjoy it quite as much because I waited, I used some of it, and then I thought, oh no, whatever. Again, Philosophy is also not cruelty free. I'm going to be really, really sad because I love the Amazing Grace perfume. Oh, just the smell is just so, so good. Okay, so the rest is kind of makeup y stuff. <laughs> the first is this. This is the Stila Kitten eyeshadow. This is one of only two things in my entire collection that has been. If you guys have been watching my inventory videos, you realize I have a lot. <clears throat> so th this video is probably going to go up on Thursday. Um, I have a video going up on Saturday that will be the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox um, swatches. Next Tuesday will be my highlighter in my um, face palette um, collection and that will be the end of my complexion. After that I'm going to do a full face of ColourPop using the Stone Cold Fox palette and then after that I'll start probably on lips or eyes. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below you want to see eyes next or lips next because when I do eyes it's going to be my eyeshadow palettes my eyeshadow singles all of it and that's going to probably take a week in itself <laughs> so yeah so this is um steal a kitten I bought this to use as a highlighter and I've absolutely used it a lot as a highlighter sometimes I'll put it on my eyes too just to get some use out of it it's really really pretty but it's expensive for what it is I mean I haven't checked the price of it in forever but it's just it's such a pretty kind of rose gold kind of shade I mean it's really pretty it is really really pretty and I'm gonna hate to see it go but at the same time I've had this since 2015 it's it needs to go the next makeup item that I've also probably had since 2015 is this Clinique chubby stick this is a this is a highlighter um this is a sample this thing is pretty pretty big you can see how much I I mean I barely have any left but you can see just how much it actually started with for a sample. This came in a Sephora, Sephora play probably in 2015 if I'm not mistaken. So um, yeah, my goal is to use this up. I may dig it out too. We'll see how far I go. So I mean, I basically have six weeks. <clears throat> oh my word, am I going to lose my voice? So the last are some setting sprays and then a primer. Let's start with the primer. This is actually what I pulled in my Shop My Stash. This is the Milani Prime Perfect Primer. Um, I do have these in my inventory and they do count as a, t as a whole item. So I'm hoping to get this used up. It's Again, it's in my current Shop My Stash. Um, this Revolution, I mean, it, that's just barely holding on. And every time I think, oh, this is gonna be the last day and use it, I've gotten like 15 more uses out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the project and hopefully I'll finish it. Initially I put it in my 50 Shades of Pink, which I abandoned, um, but hopefully I'll get this used up. If I do, I'm gonna bring in this LA Girl one. This is brand new, I think I used it once. There's one fluid ounce. This had almost four fluid ounces. <laughs> so it's one fluid ounce. Again, I count these as one item in my inventory and it'll be nice to finish up um, a couple of sprays and the last but not least is the Milani make it dewy um, I'm not sure where it I know I've only used this maybe once or twice I will weigh all of these and uh, insert the pictures of their weight but my goal is to finish this up so that's it again quick one two three four five six seven eight wait one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so <laughs> that's the nine, and then this is the ten. If I finish the um, the revolution spray in the next week or so, I'll bring this one in. If I don't, I'm going to leave this one out because then we'll be in December and I don't think I'll be able to finish this in a month. So yeah, so thanks so much for joining me today. Let me know down in the comments if you're doing this project. I would love to come check you out. And that's it. So wish me luck. I hope I can get these done. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye for now.